Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and a tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very simple way to do your eye and teeth whitening in Photoshop very easily and this is not going to be complicated at any single point. And if at all you find the video helpful, I request that you hit the, the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So right now this is the image that we have right now. And as you are looking at the image, you have to first of all look at what you want to whiten in this case and in this case what we want to whiten are the eyes so i'm just going to zoom in and show you so look at the eyes and look for the white area what colors are existing we have other random colors and what about if at all we desaturate all these colors within the white area on that whiten the eyes let's do that and this is what i want to show you and the technique i, I use to really do the eye and teeth whitening in photoshop so Usually what I do, I come right here to the adjustments and I create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So like I said, you have to desaturate the image. So for this case, I make sure I am in the master and I simply come to the saturation and I desaturate the image. And as I'm doing this, you can notice that the white area of the eye is losing out on those random colors and is turning to look white. So this is basically what I do. I take this up around negative. 86 or 85 and I close this so I make sure the white layer mask is selected and I simply press Ctrl or command I on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect from affecting the overall image So right now in order to whiten the eyes We are just going to get a brush and simply paint in the white area of the eye or in the area that we want to whiten Whether the eyes or teeth so I'm just going to come to the brushes right here and simply right click and I get the brush tool So this is the brush tool and for settings, I make sure the hardness is at 0% and the mode is normal, opacity and the flow at 100%. Then the next thing I have to do is making sure I have black and white right here. So make sure you click, click on these two small boxes. I hope you can see them right at the bottom in order to reset to black and white. And in order to switch between black and red, you can use X on the keyboard and that is going to switch between uh, these colors so make sure you ha you have white on top and right now you can zoom into the eyes and reduce on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard so the open bracket is going to reduce on the size of the brush and the right one or the close bracket is going to increase on the size of the brush so i'm just going to come and i paint on the white area just like that so reduce on the size and paint so you can as well paint right there and you whiten that area too so just come and paint right there and if I told you paint in an area that you didn't want paint in the first place you can use X on the keyboard and that is going to make the brush black and you can eliminate uh, the effect from where you don't want it to happen so come to the second eye and switch back to white right here by using X on the keyboard or you can use this arrow key and simply whiten the second eye just like that so basically this is what I do and this is a slightly better way than adding a photo filter because oftentimes most people tend to make the eyes look blue in color which is not very natural and rea realistic enough so this is what i do to whiten the eyes and you can see the before and after before after for the eye whitening so basically this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorial, tutorials. And don't forget to keep creating and keep practicing if at all you want to be better at retouching and color grading. So I'll see you in yet another one. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.